Hey guys, these are timeless not a messages. So if these messages resonate with you, hit that like button. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. So I'm going to start off with the meditation messages. I'm really low, so I'm only going to grab two. Okay. I have to reshuffle for the next couple of months. Okay. Protect your peace. Okay. That's really important here. Protect your peace. Tiger energy here. Uh, majesty, cunning, strength, independence, unpredictable, confident, and respect here. Okay. Somebody's in this um, tiger energy here. Your majesty here. I just thought about Aladdin with Jasmine with Raja. Okay. Um, I feel like. I'm, I'm here and protect and serve here to protect and serve. Somebody could be like in the, could be a police officer, military, or in the justice system here. Okay. Somebody is protecting their peace and they're in this tiger energy here. It's their loss. Okay. I feel like you rather protect your energy here. I feel like somebody may have lost you and it's their loss here. Cougar energy here. Somebody's a cougar. <laughs> Cougar and tiger here. This is probably, this is the same family here. Okay, feminine energy, intuition, strength, good mothers, power, leadership, inner peace. The color yellow solar plexus could be very significant here. So somebody definitely is in their peace here. Okay, somebody definitely is protecting their peace here. This is somebody who is confident in their self. They have a lot of personal power. They know their self-worth. Okay, they trust their gut feelings here. Somebody is definitely a leader. This could be a mother. It don't have to be. It could be just somebody who is a mother figure here. I feel like you could be in this tiger and this cougar energy here, but you're 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 very unpredictable here. Okay, very confident in yourself. You have a lot of strength. You're very independent here. I could be talking about somebody who can stand on their own two feet. They're very wealthy here. Could be somebody who grasps a lot of attention, okay? They know they grasp a lot of attention here. It's a lot of wealth energy here. And it don't have to be about money. I'm strongly getting like wealthy energy here. Very successful wealthy energy here. Somebody intuition could be on point here. This is somebody who definitely is some type of leader or guru here is what I'm getting here. I feel like somebody is committed to protecting their peace here and their inner peace. Definitely some type of guru. Uh, my uh, solar plexus and my sacral chakra is tingling. So this may actually um, bring a lot of change. Okay, this could be somebody who's very creative here. I feel like whoever you are or whoever this is about, this is somebody who has a lot of respect in the community, community here. Okay, seven of pentacles in reverse here. I feel like there may be some type of setbacks, maybe with... See, I feel like um, this is you protecting a piece here. I feel like you may have people, you may have several people that may, may be coming around you or there may be several people that may, may be trying to, it don't have to be people. It could be some type of setbacks. I'm seeing a flock of birds that are coming back. You know, when they show the arrow and when they do it in the arrow, they're they're in, in line here. My um, solar plexus just start tingling because of that. Yeah. Yeah, they're coming back. They're coming back. Um, that may be very significant. Seven of Pentacles in reverse and a King of Pentacles. So I feel like you may have had some setbacks or delays or something here, but you are in this King of Pentacles energy here. I feel like you may be better in your finances here. I feel like this could be about a business here, maybe a thriving business here. Maybe your business was set back or maybe you may have lost a job, but I feel like you're in this position of this King of Pentacles energy. So you may have gotten a new job or your business is starting to get very successful here. I feel like you are awakening to that here, okay? I feel like you're still focusing on some type of loss that you may have had. It may have pertained to magic here. You may have blew the whistle on it as well here. You may have acknowledged that. Yeah, I feel like you may have gotten clarity about you may have made some poor choices with your finances in the past, or obviously there was some type of magic involved. Um, yeah, but I feel like you're in this higher fine energy now. So I feel like you could be actually getting better, but you still may be still focusing on the past energy. It's nothing wrong with focusing on something that you lost as long as you actually learn from that energy here. 
okay? As long as you um, take that with you and learn from it. That's a part of being a leader, okay? You take the lessons and you run with it and you share the lessons with other people here. This is probably why you have a lot of respect here. You have nothing to hide here because you know that you can get back on your feet here. You know how to stand up on your own two feet here, okay? Page of Swords in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse, Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups in reverse, and the Four of Swords in reverse here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse again here. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you got the Ursula out here. I feel like there may have been somebody who could have been spiteful and probably tried to manipulate or they tried to emotionally abuse you or they did some type of dark magic to bring you misfortune here. Straight up. That's exactly what it is. I feel like somebody tried to play some type of mind games, but you, you may have blew the whistle on this person here. I feel like you may have caught somebody trying to be malicious towards you here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, Virgo energy here. Yeah, you caught somebody trying to play some type of mind games with you here, okay? I feel like they may have tried to blackmail you. You may have lost some type of money through somebody may have tried somebody may have tried to swindle you in the business or they may have um tricked you out of some money here, okay? I feel like you in this energy, you you may have awakened to whatever it is. You may have caught somebody trying to steal your money or steal your energy. So take this how I resonate here. Okay, somebody was trying to play some type of mind games. You know, Ursula, she definitely was trying to play some type of mind games to be on top. I feel like somebody tried to wipe you out, okay? They tried to steal your energy here. And this is why you in this energy of protecting your energy, okay? This is somebody who, whoever this is, they're very childish, um, very emotionally incompetent. This is somebody who really don't care about other people's feelings here. They barely care about theirs. Okay, yeah, somebody tried to swindle you for your great fortune or your finances here. It's something about uh, finances or a business here, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who did some magic and he was actually, oh, goodness gracious, look at this Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, somebody tried to do magic on a Nine of Pentacles energy here. Somebody who is very independent and self-sufficient on their own and they can stand on their own two feet. That's that cougar and that tiger energy here. Somebody it has no other choice. I'm getting the aerial. Somebody has no other choice but to respect you. Somebody has no other choice but to bow down to you and respect you. M m majesty is your majesty here. I feel like somebody is deeply unhappy because no matter how much shit they actually do to you to be spiteful towards you, their bitter ass is going to be deeply unhappy, burdened and stressed and having sleepless nights because it never stopped or is never going to stop you from being an eye on a pentacles energy here. So maybe this is somebody you may have not even had a loss. I just feel like this is this energy where somebody tried to cause you some type of misfortune or try to set you back. This is somebody who was trying to scam your energy and your finances here. Okay. Yeah, you could be like an influencer here. Somebody tried to cloak into your energy here. This is somebody who really has like some type of childhood issues within their self here. Okay. I feel like this is somebody who they struggle with their emotions or they have like a negative mindset. They like to steal. Okay. This is causing this person to have a mental breakdown. You could strongly could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Scorpio energy here. Yeah, I feel like some, I just did a reading not too long ago. That this is somebody who's in despair because they were trying to block your blessings that was meant for you. It's like somebody tried to block something from you that you already received. Somebody is mad because of your destiny or something here. Okay, they are, they have a bad hand or they have a bad destiny here. I feel like it has something to do with inheritance or family lineage. Okay, go back to um, Ursula. Okay, Ursula was like a sister or she, I don't even think she was actually his real sister, but she definitely felt like she deserved some type of throne when it was actually supposed to be left to Ariel, okay? So take that how it resonates. Empress in reverse, Sun in reverse, Five of Pentacles, and a Four of Cups. I mean, that may be significant. Four of Cups in reverse could be significant. Four of Wands in reverse here. Yeah, 
somebody who tried to manipulate you or try to be shady towards you or try to do some type of magic and use their ability in a very negative way and they're one they wind up being abandoned out of the whole situation or a whole scenario this is somebody who feels guilty and regretful for actually doing some type of magic because the shit fucking backfired here okay yeah i feel like they did a little too much here on somebody here who they was trying to copy here they was trying to cloak themselves into your energy here. They tried to have your spot. This is somebody who had unrealistic expectations with trying to be like you, okay? This is somebody who's a tyrant who tried to force their energy into your energy here, okay? It doesn't match. You're too strong or independent for this person to actually copy. This is somebody who is independent. No, I mean, this is somebody who is, D is not independent on their own. Could be somebody who who don't have no growth in their life here. It's like this is somebody who pick and choose who they want to be like without actually putting in the work. It's, it's okay to look up to somebody, but to try to be like them and cloak yourself into their energy here. This person wasn't expecting to have to put so much work into this energy here. This is somebody who sees you very content with yourself, very happy with yourself. You have an inner peace and personal power and strength within yourself. They want to be like that, but they're, they don't have nothing of that. They have a lack of spiritual growth. They have a lack of confidence in their self. They're very insecure with their self. They're not growing, but they want to be just like you. They do this through mind games. This is somebody who did something underhanded to try to cloak you out or try to sabotage you but then try to copy everything that you do but they couldn't even do the shit this was their sense of revenge here this is somebody who is a narcissist maybe a sociopath or very sociopathic here they copy off of people energy but they can't be around people they can't this is somebody who can't phantom being around people who could be in the nine of pentacles energy here it's, they they will probably like I'm strongly getting like this person can't even be around these people and make them uncomfortable. This is somebody who likes to play mind games and create circuses here. I, obviously, with this unrealistic expectation of them copying off for you or wanting to be like you, actually put them out in the cold here. This is somebody who is very low vibrational. They have whatever that they was trying to do. It has no success. They can't sustain whatever this is. Um, it has a lot to do with some type of magic here. It's very low vibrational. Oh, goodness. I literally just did a reading five minutes ago about this. Queen of Swords in reverse here. Not very smart. Page of Wands and the Five of Cups again here. Not very smart, but they want to communicate with you or they want to say something because they feel guilty and regretful that none of the shit they actually did actually work here okay yeah I, they may be actually in denial here they may not be stopping what they're doing um this is somebody who's just really fucking bitter and they're going to continue to try to manipulate and play fucking mind games here whoever this is they definitely know how to play themselves for sure you're so unpredictable is is another thing that this person can't sustain here they don't know what you're going to do next They're trying to play mind games with somebody or trying to copy off somebody they can't keep up with. They can't keep up with copying off you. They can't keep up with you. Okay? They're not even close. A higher font, seven of cups, and reverse magician, and reverse here. Ace of swords and a three of swords. I mean, you already know the truth here. This is somebody who is frustrated because they can't fucking copy you. Straight up. This could be a third party. This is somebody who want to be an empress here. You could, well, you're the nine of pentacles. You're the empress here. I feel like this is somebody who wants to be in your shoes here. Very psychotic here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. That could be in their sun, moon, rising, north node here. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who is bitter as shit because you a hierophant. You could be like a spiritual leader or a teacher or a guru here. You could be an influencer here. I feel like this is somebody who 
this wasn't really a good idea to try to cloak yourself into your energy here. They may look at you and be like, oh, this is this look really easy to copy. This person is in a very high position, but they don't realize how much work it is to be a guru here or a spiritual leader or a priest or a high priestess or somebody who can just be honest, okay? It's really not that hard, but I'm just getting this energy where this is somebody who is a liar. They can't even sustain being a higher font or they can't sustain being in that energy here. They lie to their self. They're not even starting with their self. I feel like this is somebody, like I said, this is somebody, I may have said that in another reading. This is somebody who has some mental health issues. Strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. Instead of them working on their self, they decide they want to do magic or they decide they want to be crafty and shady towards you or try to cheat their way into being in some type of position here. The, posi the position, position, position is really not meant for them, okay? I feel like this is somebody who really is not spiritually aligned here, okay? They don't know how to deal with the hand that they have been given here, okay? This definitely has a lot to do with... Um, past life energy here this is this person's energy from the past life here this is what they're finishing off now here they may be doing the same thing that they may have been been doing lifetimes ago this is somebody who do not learn their lesson here they think it was a really good idea but all it does is lead them to depression they do magic on their own energy so yeah I mean, I feel like this is not really stressing you out. It's just looking at somebody who could be just like a fan, but they really hate your guts. This could be somebody who is very childish. Very insecure within their self. They always have unrealistic expectations. It's like they look for the sun, but really they are really dark. Eight of Swords in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse, Six of Wands, Moon, Ace, Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So eight, eight could be very, eight, eight, eight could be very significant here. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who just completely feel defeated here because if they are trying to attack you or they are trying to spread some type of lie or they're trying to change something to humiliate you, it's unrequited here. I feel like your emotions are completely not involved in whatever this is. This is somebody who wants to start some type of violence with you here or deceive you in some type of way, but they're defeated because it's unrequited or unreciprocated here. Yeah, I just feel like you have too much common sense for this person here. I feel like you have too much power as well. I feel like it's e it, it's not that hard to stand up for yourself. You're getting this tiger and this cougar energy here. So I feel like you're probably just sitting there while somebody is trying to attack you and you can literally just grab them by the neck and just put them the fuck to sleep. Common sense here. I feel like you have a lot of control over this person whether this person like it or not that's how psychotic this person is this person has mental health issues they don't even realize how much power and control you have over them being in this higher fine energy here because they want to be just like you they don't even know where to even start to be a higher fine it's not their destiny here this person think it's victorious to do magic on you or try to deceit you or being in this catty energy here. Very delusional type of energy. Very psychotic and very delusional here. Okay. And they're going to hold on to this energy here. They're holding on to this energy like a possession here. I feel like they're going to keep doing this to get some type of results. They're going to keep being in this illusion or being delusional to get some type of results here. And it's all, all it's going to do is keep them actually abandoned out of a situation here. This all it's going to do is basically lead to lead them to a hopeless situation here. If somebody is not running off in a sunset. They're running off into darkness here. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to get another one. It may not repeat itself, but yeah, it may. <laughs> Knight of Swords in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, Chariot, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Wands, Knight of Wands in reverse, High Priestess. Yeah, okay. Six of Swords, 
tower and the three of cups in reverse here so i mean the ball is in the air and i feel like this is somebody who's like really trying to catch that shit it's not happening it's not happening at all there is no if this is somebody who's really trying to sustain a lie it's 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 not even able to get off the ground. There's no emotions involved in whatever this is here. And this is karma for this person here. Yeah. This is somebody who really just... They may do this out of boredom here because they're unhappy with their self. Okay? They may be in despair. They may just constantly just focus on the negative here. Could have some type of child. They're still stuck in some type of child childish ways here. They're always competing and challenging here. This is very narcissistic energy here. They may like to demean people here. They might like always being cruel and evil here. That shit don't work all the fucking time here. This could be somebody who is a... If you are... I mean, you obviously in this Empress energy here, this Hierophant energy, High Priestess energy here, I feel like somebody thought that they can sustain being a psychic here. This is a gift. You could be like a tarot card reader, a psychic. You're very intuitive here. This person is not. They're actually the opposite of who you are, but they want to sustain that type of energy to be like you. It's like no matter if this person copied off of how you look, they are not you. And that pisses this person off that they can't be like you, okay? This is somebody who's very closed-minded. They don't think very clearly here. They probably don't think at all, okay? Knight of Swords in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse here. They lack integrity. This is somebody who is a savage. Okay, I'm getting a raccoon possum energy here. This is a savage. This is somebody who likes taking leftovers or they like taking garbage here. They don't know what's actually good for them because they're always trying to take something that don't belong to them. They're a thief. Okay, yeah, not very smart here. Okay, this is somebody who probably was given an offer to see their potential, but they didn't want to see their own potential because they don't want to see that within their self because they're unhappy with their own potential or their self. 21 o'clock here, this cycle is closed the fuck out here. They want the ball to be in their court so bad by being in this rebellious ass childish energy here. It's not happening. They think dark magic is going to get them where they belong here or get them where they need to be here. They're competing with you so bad. They're they're competing you and challenging you, challenging you with trying to emotionally abuse you in some type of way in this reckless ass energy. And the high priest is just like <sighs> this is somebody you you could be somebody who is a higher front and a high priestess. It's, you're too powerful for this person here. It's pretty easy to stand up for yourself with this person here. This is somebody who is a child. I'm getting mindless behavior. This mindless behavior is boring the shit out of a high priestess or a high front energy here. Yeah. All you have to do is actually walk away and move on and let go. And this will bring a tower moment to this person here. It causes confusion and pain to this person. It hurts this person's ego here. This is somebody who has the audacity to be in their ego you this person don't have an ego they this ego may have came from somebody else who they may have copied they're just jealous because they have to copy off of your energy here whoever energy that they're cloaking into right now they must have an ego and they're copying off of that i'm going to get from the wisdom deck okay the signs that I got in this reading is strongly Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus energy here. Okay. Strongly. Strongly. Harry. Harry. Somebody need this Harry. It's like the audacity. When, when does this stop for you? When does this, when does the enlightenment happen for you? Because it don't look like it. It looked like this person just run off of um, competition. They like to have pointless conflicts. They like to have pointless fights. You know, just living off of dirty energy here. Yeah, the ball is just never going to be in this person's court here. Okay, I feel like you're very cunning. Okay. I feel like you just sit there in this energy like this. Like, 
roll your eyes at this person like, oh God, you're still trying to emotionally abuse. You're still in this arrogant, reckless energy here. You're still sleeping around with people to make a point across. Are you, are, are you sad? Do you need help? Do you need teaching or schooling here? This could be somebody who is a teenager who probably look up to you in some type of way, but I'm strongly getting this is a full-fledged adult that's trying to give some type of illusion here that they have some type of conflict with you here. But it's like, where is the conflict coming from? Childhood issues. This could be somebody who fights with their siblings. There's nothing, you, this person don't know what the fuck is going on with you here. It's driving this person the fuck crazy here. You're too unpredictable for this person here to copy or sustain. So, wishing, yeah. Somebody wish that they can, can create some type of chaos with you here. 19 and 9 here, okay? Um, this could be a Libra, Virgo, um, Leo energy here. Yeah, this person really wants to create. They wishing to create so much chaos with you. This is a wishing well here. They can keep wishing here to create some type of chaos with you here. It's looking like it's never going to happen. This is somebody who's just, this is a third party. It don't have to be about relationship. This could be just a friend, a friend's group. This is somebody who's just gonna have to just be the fuck jealous and the fuck mad, okay? Whose problem is that? There's, okay? The signs that I got in this reading is BKTJ, um, AJS, ENW here. Um, G P Y C L U can be very significant here. Wishing they can create some type of chaos with you. This is out of this fucking world with people here. I'd be like really stunned. You wish that you can create chaos with somebody? <sighs> Confirmation. Somebody needs to worry about loving their self because clearly they don't. But I love you guys. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Again, these are timeless noted messages. If these messages resonate with you, hit that like button. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Love you guys. Smooches.